Hello guys. Um, today I have something um, new for you on my channel, pretty much, because I started um, making plugins. Um, because it's uh, relatively easy and fun way to learn Java. So, um, Sandlands once um, told me he would like a mod that does something similar to this plugin. So, um, yeah, I thought, let, let's try and make a plugin for, for it. So, um, as a redstoneer, you often don't have enough um, space in your inventory because now I would actually like a, a dropper and hopper as well because you use those uh, uh, mono stables quite a lot now, most people anyways but there's not enough space and I might would like a button or a lever as well redstone blocks, there's, there's just not a whole lot of space so my plugin is called um, inventory plus um, this is a like um, this server I'm on is my own server which isn't port forwarded so you just so you don't ask anything about it in the comments um, so it's called inventory plus and for the comments you do um, slash inventory or inf short for inventory sorry and then uh, you do slash inf selector is one of the comments uh, the main uh, comment so now we get this rod, it says inventory selector current one. So when we click with this um, place rod, we will get to this menu. So it says closing inventory one. Now by simply um, clicking on one of these with one of these items, we can go to another inventory. So this is inventory two because it was slot two. So here we have our um, dropper and hopper, so we can just use those however we want and then when we want our normal redstone again we go to here and select uh, redstone and we have our main inventory again so um, you can just edit every inventory however you like it will automatically save it um, it saves it in, the f in a file um, at the moment you leave or the server reloads but if somebody is simply um, clicks on the X basically to shut off the server um, it won't save it because it won't give an event I believe I, I'm not entirely sure of that but just uh, to make sure you um, save your inventory you can simply do slash inventory save um, so now you should yeah it should have saved your inventory for sure but in principle it would do it automatically um, but yeah, as you can see, it's just a pretty easy way. Um, you can see inventory current two here as well. But it's just an easy way to um, manage your inventories. So we can um, do some more with this. Maybe you would like to use macros um, on your keyboard instead of. Um, uh, extra item in your inventory because yeah now you need to have have every inventory has one less um, slot basically so if you would like to just use macros you can make a macro that types this for instance so this will make you go directly to inventory one and this directly to two and yeah you can go up to nine basically because there are nine slots you can select from here um, if you click in the air with the empty slot it doesn't work so if you don't assign an item for an inventory you just need to click on the ground instead um, and it, uh, when creating a new inventory it will automatically give you this rod but you can just get rid of it if you plan to use um, slash inventory number instead um, and you can simply assign an item for inventory by dragging it in there it will give the enchantment glow it doesn't work for blocks though just to indicate a little bit that it's not the actual item you can't place the item it will cancel that so if I try to place this thus it doesn't work so it's just a yeah just to show you that it's not the actual item sort of 
Um, and yeah, that's most of it, I believe. Um, well, actually, if you use this a lot, you can see it creates quite a bit of spam in the uh, chat. So you can simply do inventory message to turn this uh, off. So now if we open the inventory, it won't give any message. And when we close, it won't either. Um, but I prefer it on just to yeah, be able to see which inventory you closed and such. And it was ma it's mainly handy when I was making the plugin for debugging to see what's going on. Um, and then as well, if you like, when you're a redstoner, you probably only need two inventories really. So now for only two inventories, you need to click twice basically to, to go to the other inventory. You need to click this menu and then from the menu to the inventory you want. But yeah, actually I don't want more than two inventories so I can just get rid of this rod um, and do slash inventory link one so this will create a item that links directly to inventory one so as you can see inventory link one current two so current inventory is two again so if we click with this um, you will get directly sent to inventory one and it will save inventory two as well but it doesn't give the closing message because yeah, here you go into something between closing and opening an inventory, so that's why I have the extra message. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't make too much sense. But um, so we can do the same for this one. And actually, I want to show you that you can assign it to a custom item instead of an arrow as well. If you just hold the item and do uh, put hand behind it, so now it will change the item in your hand to the link so now that goes to inventory 2 and to inventory 1 um, so yeah that's pretty much all for this plugin I really hope some um, uh, sur uh, plot servers will use it because I personally think it's a really useful plugin as I said because you often have to uh, not enough inventory space but um, if you, I mean, if you install a plugin and you think um, it's annoying, it, this, <laughs> and don't want to use it, but maybe other people on the server want, um, you can simply choose to not use it. I mean, it doesn't force you to use it or anything. It doesn't give you the item unless you do the comments and such. So, yeah, I I don't really see disadvantage apart from being one extra plugin and maybe if you really have a slow server you want as less plugins as possible. So mainly um, uh, Fire Alarm Freak, I really hope you will put it uh, on your server and yeah, um, if anybody knows uh, other plugin for me to make, something not too big, just something around this um, idea like size wise um, just leave a comment because yeah I want to really make some more plugins to get the hang of it and uh, yeah maybe people can use them I really hope <laughs> so so um, I think that's all for this video and see you all later bye